People are better connected than ever before, but the gap between the technology haves and have-nots is still huge. A subject that was top of the agenda at today's WISIS forum, where delegates grappled with how to bridge the digital divide. So I, we have a several program in order to, um, to help the people from the rural area to use the ICT uh, services. For example, uh, for farmers, uh, to exchange uh, merchandise, uh, merchandise uh, uh, and uh, to sell their products, uh, uh, how to uh, cultivate uh, their plants, etc. Getting 3G networks to rural areas in low-income countries remains a big challenge. In 2015, only 29% of the world's rural population was covered by a 3G network. Vimplecom has 200 million mobile customers, providing cellular services to 10% of the world's population. In our markets, still two-thirds of the people don't have access to the internet. It's 10% more than the global average. So there's still a lot to do in that regard, and that's why we continue investing in our mobile networks, including rollout of the 4G technologies, so that this uh, networks reach everyone, quality networks, fast. But connectivity is not just an issue in the developing world. The digital divide actually is not just a bridge, it's very complicated. And the digital divide that exists is actually broadening, not just in the least developed countries, but also in developed countries. I have the opportunity of living in the UAE, London and Nigeria. And I see this occurring everywhere. In the UK, we are leaving behind the elderly people, people with special needs. And I think governments have to look internally before saying this needs to be done in developed countries. Bridging the digital divide was one of the topics that exercised minds at WISIS. The other was how ICT can be used to promote peaceful and inclusive societies. Sustainable Development Goal 16. This is exactly the reason for which UNESCO chose to move away from the information society concept. The message here was clear, that building a knowledge society will help people share information and raise awareness to combat poverty and justice. The WISIS Forum is first and foremost a multi-stakeholder platform, but it also gives an opportunity for ministers to meet to discuss national approaches to ICT for development and look at how ICTs can strengthen the implementation of all 17 sustainable development goals. The high-level track of WISIS 2016 has now ended, but there's still two days left of the forum. Tomorrow we'll be at the International Telecommunication Union, where we'll be hearing from the heads of UN agencies, non-governmental organisations and the private sector on how they use the power of information technology to power development.